Howdy. So this is Dave and Diane. <laughs> okay, no howdy. <laughs> Hi guys. So this is Dave and Diane from Dave and Diane throwing caution to the wind. Today we thought we'd jump in the car, take a drive over Wolf Creek Pass, stop off at three or four different lakes that we know of, uh, so maybe stop off at a couple of overlooks, and uh, maybe hit the South Fork, have some lunch, and whatever else might come up. So uh, you might want to tag along with us, check out the scenery. This might be a good time to hit that subscribe button. Maybe consider giving us a thumbs up toward the end. And uh, okay, let's go. So we left uh, Pagosa Springs, we drove over Wolf Creek Pass, and one of the first stops we always make is down here at uh, Pass Creek Lake. It's on the South Fork side of uh, Wolf Creek Pass, so uh, we'll show you the lake a little bit here. Hang on. This is one of the few times we've stopped off that there have not been people down here fishing. We've never seen anybody catching anything. But they, uh, they must, because there's always somebody down here. It's probably not the most quiet lake to come down and hang out at and fish at, because you're right next to uh, the highway. But it's, it's a pretty spot. All right, so you got an idea what this lake was like. Now we're going to head back to the car, and we're going to drive down the road a piece, head up on a gravel road, and we're going to go to the Tucker Ponds. So let's go check that out. So we left Pass Creek Lake, drove just a little bit further down the hill, or down the hill if you're headed toward South Fork, and now we're at the Tucker Ponds. Now there are two ponds here, side by side, one of them is right behind us. So we'll show you that, we'll show you the other one, and I think there's a small campground here also, so uh, we might drive through that too. All right, hang on.
All right, well, this is the second Tucker Pond. I apologize for the wind. I do realize it's pretty breezy. So I'm going to spin around here. You can see how close that first pond we walked around. That's the trail we came up. There's a the little parking lot. And right there is the first pond that we walked around. So very close. And then right across the road, up beyond those trees, is a campground. We have not seen that campground, but we'll do a little drive through there or a walk through there and show you what it's about. Again, I apologize for the uh, wind noise. It is pretty breezy. But it's supposed to be 90 degrees today, so uh, <laughs> we're happy with the breeze. All right, we're going to drive across the street and go through the campground. We have no idea what's up here, but we'll take you along and have a peek. Alright, so that's probably a uh, 20 foot travel trailer there. So the 20 foot travel trailer and the pickup was just going to fit in. Here's site number two. And you can see not very large, but uh, you small travel trailer people. And uh, here's a pull through, site number three, I guess. And you uh, Class C's could easily come up here. There's another site right here. So primitive, no hookups, no water, no power, no septic. Now here's a nice pull through. That's uh, fairly long actually. Actually uh, we're 42 foot. We could fit there with our truck and fifth wheel. Another little pull out to the side here. Number seven was to the right. You probably didn't get to see, but it was pretty small as well. So here's a uh, here's a restroom. Fit toilets. And you can see down over there how close you are to the ponds. Yeah, this would be a great site right here. You'd have the view, number nine is the site number, you'd have the view of the lakes down there, the ponds. That'd be very nice, but it's a small, a small site. Site number 10, we just passed, small little back end. Pickup camp trailer. Pull out to the side right here again. A little uh, pickup camper would probably work out fine here. Well, that's their site over there. Here's site number 13. That's really and it looks like we are back. back to the entrance. So there you go. It's a fee area. All right, we're going to head back out the highway. So on the way up to the Tucker Ponds on this gravel road, there are two or three or four primitive sites that you can come into and park. Now, I don't think anybody's back in here today, so we're going to drive back in and show you one of them. You can be the judge by looking at the road whether you want to come back in. Oh, I guess there is somebody back here. So we'll just turn around, but you get an idea. There's a primitive site. It's actually a pretty nice site. We're going to turn around. All right, so we turned around. We didn't bother them too much. I'm sure they're used to that. They were tucked well in there, so you couldn't see them from the road. Also, I'm going to keep the video going here, but at the end of this little dirt trail is a road that takes off to the right. And that goes back in there quite a ways. And uh, there's camping down in there too. So you may not be able to see it through the window. 
Diane, you want to open your window there real quick? So maybe you can see that road that wanders out through there. That goes way back into a point back there, and that'd be another great spot for you primitive campers. We would uh, we would love to camp back in there. Might be a little more than we'd take our rig into, but it is pretty. All right, now we're gonna head back out the highway. All right, so coming up here to the left is another little primitive site. Be good for a uh, truck camper or like these folks are doing. They have their van and a tent set up on the knoll there. But keep in mind that is right next to the dirt road, so wouldn't be very private and it'd be pretty dusty. All right, so right around this corner is another primitive site. Let me show you this. So as you can tell, pretty small. So truck camper, van camping, Class C, something like that would work well there. And I suppose this site is probably what, Diane? I'm guessing a mile from the highway. That's just a guess, right? All right, we'll see what else is up here. That's it. All right, so here's another primitive site. Now this is right down by the stream, so you can see there's a small camper down there. It might be 15 foot or so, but you can certainly go bigger. You can get a, you can get two or three, four small campers back in there as a group actually in camp. far enough off the main road here that it wouldn't be too bad and this is not a high traffic road so and as you can see all the campgrounds I'm showing you right now these are a 14 day limits all right so this is the uh, last one before we hit the highway and then we're gonna head on down to South Fork So we continued down from Tucker Ponds toward South Fork and we decided to swing in here at Big Meadows Reservoir. So we're going to take you through a campground here at Big Meadows. You can check that out. And then we're going to go across the way to the boat ramp and show you the lake. So uh, right? right, let's go take a look. <laughs> All right, here we are, Big Meadows Campground. Give you an idea of the size of site you have over here. Hopefully we don't jaunt you back and forth too awfully much. So units 1 through 13 and 14 through 44. So it's a uh, pretty good size campground. Yeah, it's tiered, so it's kind of nice. So there's a lake down over there. So this section of campsites is actually a little lower. The other section is higher, so it looks out over these, which makes it pretty nice. Here you can see a good view of the lake down there. There's a campsite off to the right here. Yeah, these are all primitive, it looks like. Here's a nice pull-through, site number two off here, with a tent pad. So your patio side would certainly be looking out over the lake. That'd be pretty nice. And you can see, here's a small trailer with a pickup. 
and you got a little canopy set up behind it and that takes care of that whole site. So uh, what do we see, Diane? I think the Tucker Ponds, the elevation of Tucker Ponds was 9,860 feet. So that little camp down there at Tucker Ponds, you'd stay pretty cool in the summertime. Now we have been coming down the mountain toward this, uh, this campground. I do not know the elevation, but I might check it out and I'll put a little uh, note here on the screen if I remember. Here's another one. So small trailer, pickup, takes care of the whole site. All right, we made the loop in this first section. Now we're going to go up to the second section. Okay, so here we go. Sites 14 through 44. Here comes a pull through site. Got a Lance trailer in there. Got their solar all set up and little generator sitting outside. Here's site 17. Give you an idea of size. I'm sorry for giving you whiplash. 18 of the small site, a lot like 17. And there you can see another small tent camper. That's site 19. Site 20 straight ahead of us there. Be a nice view from there. And there's a trail to Cascade Falls. Might be interesting. Here comes a nice little camps, a little uh, tent site ahead of us. Nice little setup. So 22 through 32 is off to the left, 37 through 47 this way. We're going to take the high road. See what kind of views we get up here from the campsites. Alright, here's site 37. Straight ahead of us, they're in a the fifth wheel. That's probably uh 24 foot fifth wheel roughly. Site 38 coming up here to the right. No view from 38. Site 40, coming up here to the right, and that's a pull-through site, and right across the street from the uh, porta potties. So that could be a plus or a minus. And here we go. There's a small fifth wheel here in Site 42. give you a look out over the uh, campground here. 
This is probably the highest point in the campground, I'm guessing. There's the reservoir over there. Yeah, here's another campsite. We'll let you know what the number is here in just a second. Uh, site 43. Right there. And here's another pull through site in front of us. I'm guessing, looks like that's site number 44. That's a very private site. You're nestled in the trees there. You'd have absolutely no view. But it would be a private site. Come site 45. Site 45. And here comes Site 46. That's a pretty small site right there. Site 47, a little bit bigger than Site 46. Now keep in mind when we say small sites, we're in a 42 foot fifth wheel plus our truck, so a lot of these sites we would not fit in, but there are certainly some sites we could. All right. So that concludes our campground tour. We're gonna head over toward the reservoir and let you have a peek of that. So, hang on. All right, well we know this is noisy as heck with the wind, I'm sure. But we're up here now at uh, Big Meadows Reservoir, right? Big Meadow Reservoir, just outside of Southport, Colorado. You see the, uh, the reservoir behind us there. I'm gonna flip you around and give you a little tour. There you go. And there's why the biggest part of the noise is this water runoff down here. Beautiful country. We'll scan you around. So that campground we took you through is actually, uh, you could walk there from here if you wanted to. We're going to spin back around the other direction and then I'll point to that campground. And there it is, right up there is the campground that we drove through just a second ago. Alright, we're going to walk around a little bit. Alright, we're going to take a little walk. You come along with us. We're going to uh, walk up this road next to the reservoir. And then, we're going to come down this little trail, down into this gully. There's a nice uh, flow of water down there. And then we're going to... <laughs> I can't see through the screen. Come back over here by this bridge that we just crossed over and uh, go up the hill back up the bridge you head back to the car so uh, tag along for that with you I can be sad with you just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you I want to stay with you with you I love the way that you love me today Let's run up through the fields Where the sun shines and
from Pagosa Springs over Wolf Creek Pass down here to South Fork and we're gonna stop off have a little lunch a late lunch early dinner at uh, Ramon's Mexican food right that's what's called yeah. Ramon's we've eaten here one time before we were not disappointed so uh, hopefully we won't be this time anyway we highly recommend it if you make your way over here hang on we'll head back over to Pagosa Springs So that was a pretty good day outing over Wolf Creek Pass and back. You know, part of the reason for that video was to uh, make people aware that there are other things to do on Wolf Creek Pass other than just drive over the famous Wolf Creek Pass. Uh, the few things we showed you in this video are just a small amount of things to do. Uh, it would have been way too long of a video if we would have showed you more, but you get the idea. There's some great hikes up on Wolf Creek Pass. There's a, a ghost town not far off the beaten path as you go over Wolf Creek Pass. There's a number of things to do. So anyway, give that some thought. Next time you uh, are thinking about driving to Wolf Creek Pass, maybe plan an extra day, plan a little extra time to stop off at a lake or two and check them out. So uh, I guess that's it. Hey, maybe hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video at all. Leave us a comment. Maybe you have some comments about things you've done around Wolf Creek Pass that others might be interested in. So I guess that's it for now. So, have a great day. Uh, get out and go for a hike. Get out and go for a hike. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.